Do you love Halloween but don't want to spend a lot decorating? Well, keep watching because I'm going to show you my best quick and easy hacks to transform your home. Let's talk stairs. You can make a big impact with just a few items on your stairs. You can find all your favorite products by downloading the Walmart app. That's where I found all these items I'm gonna be using for my stairs. And I wanna thank Walmart for sponsoring today's video. I picked up one of these spider webs on walmart.com. I'm gonna use this to kind of cover the railings on my stairs. So I'm not taping it or anything. I'm just literally taking it and kind of stretching it around my stairs. And because it's so light, it's gonna hold in place. And if you need to cut any off, you can, but I don't know, I think it's kind of fun having it hang down a little bit too. As you're going, just kind of stretch and pull. If you see it bunched up like that, just kind of pull that out. And then you may need to tape it in some areas. I'm gonna kind of go back through and determine where I need to add a little bit of tape. You could just use something like double-sided sticky tape. So keep tugging at it. I would wait to cut this off until you're happy with it wrapped around the end of your stairs. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it off about right here. And there's still so much more to do the other side. Walmart has these pre-made garlands that are perfect for your stairs. You can also put them on your mantle or really anywhere around your house. I wanted to add a little bit more orange to these witch ones that I found. So I'm going to get a pack of these pumpkins and I also picked up two of the witch's garland. I'm gonna simply lay out the garland on my craft table and then I'm gonna alternate the pumpkins. I'll place a little bit of hot glue on the top of my pumpkin, place the string in that's in the middle of two witches hats and I'll add a little bit of additional hot glue on the top of it just to really secure it in place. And I'll repeat that with my pumpkins in between each of my witches hats. And I'm gonna do this for both of my garlands. Now don't move this garland until that hot glue has a chance to set up. To attach it to my staircase, I'm gonna use a command strip to place it at the top and the bottom, and then I'll pull it up in the middle as well. So it wasn't long enough to go all the way down to the end, so what I'm gonna do is I made a second one. I'm gonna start with this one over here, and then I'm gonna overlap it on this side. Don't worry if it's not hanging perfect. It's Halloween, so it's supposed to be fun and whimsical. To finish off the stairs, I found these inexpensive jack-o'-lanterns, and these are little LED tea lights. I'm gonna place these on each of the steps with a tea light in it. It's gonna be perfect for Halloween night. Now, what is a spooky staircase without a witch's broom? When I was looking in the Walmart app, I found this really affordable one, added it to my cart, and went and picked it up. I also picked up some Halloween LED lights that I could wrap around it. So this was a quick and easy DIY. All you have to do, get about two packages of LED lights, and you're gonna unravel them and start by looping them in at the top of the broom, and then you're just gonna try to loop them in a few times and then start wrapping it around. You're gonna do the same thing with the second set of lights. Then you can set it up on your staircase. The only thing you have to do is find a place to hide your battery packs. So you can do that in one of your jack-o'-lanterns or maybe behind a post. That took no time to do and my stairs are looking super spooky.
This next hack is an affordable way to make a soap container for Halloween. I found this affordable soap container on walmart.com and I'm gonna do a quick DIY with it. So with the top, I'm going to pull that off and take off that piece inside. Then I'm gonna spray it with two coats of a matte black spray paint. Now, whenever you're spray painting a top to your soap container outside, it's best if you can put it in a dish or something so it's not laying down. So I found this little container I could spray paint it in. Now on the base of the soap container, I wanted it to look like it had spider cobwebs on it. So to achieve that look, I had a bucket of water and then I'm going to add some white spray paint into my bucket of water. From there, you're gonna take your container and dip it straight down into the water and pull it straight up. Rotate the container to the other side, dip it in again and pull it straight up. You're gonna do the same thing with the lid, but before you do that, you probably need to add in a little bit more spray paint. Once you add in your spray paint, dip it in, pull it straight up. This is going to mimic the look of cobwebs. Let this dry completely. Now I'm gonna remove the lid. I also found these little spider confetti at walmart.com. I'm gonna put a few of these in the bottom of my container. Then I'm gonna add in some clear soap. I'll go up about a third of the way, add in a few more spiders and keep alternating between my soap and my spiders. Once I get to the top, I'll put a few more spiders on and then I'll finish it off by putting the lid on. You can set this out in your bathroom or kitchen. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is Halloween. Have you ever wondered what to do with those affordable orange pumpkins? I have a hack for you so you can use them in your kitchen. So you're gonna start by removing the black handle. Next, you're gonna spray paint it a brown or terracotta color. I'm gonna spray paint on the underside first with a warm brown color. Then I'll flip it over. I'll spray paint the top and the inside. I wanted to give it a worn kind of cool look. So once my paint was dry, I came in with some plaster of Paris. I'm gonna be using a sponge to apply it. So I'll dip my sponge into water and the plaster and I'll dab it around my entire piece. As the plaster dries, it's going to start looking a lot more white and bright. So just remember that when you're putting it on and it looks very muted. So I'm gonna put it all around my jack-o'-lantern and let that dry. Now, after it was dry, I felt like it was a little bit too much for me. So I decided to come back in with a terracotta color and using a sponge, I'm going to dab that all over my piece. Now, if the color is too intense, you can add in some water to your sponge and then just continue to add that terracotta color until you're happy with the way it looks. I would let it dry between each coat just so you can really see if you like it. Once it's dry, you're left with a piece like this that you can set out in your kitchen, put in your favorite utensils, and it's a great decorative piece for your kitchen. For this next DIY, I wanted some decor for my pantry, but I wanted it to be something I could reuse after Halloween. I've had my eye on these two glass jars in the Walmart app, so I thought this would be the perfect time to pick these up. So I went to the Walmart app and I added the two glass jars to my cart. I went and picked them up at the store, or you could have them delivered to your house, either way. The DIY I wanted to do with these glass jars was to make them look like ghosts. This is really easy. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to do. You're just gonna need a little bit a black vinyl, you can use any vinyl you want, and a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut out the face of a ghost to put on this glass jar. So I cut a couple of eyeballs, and then I also cut a mouth. And then for my second jar, I wanted to create kind of a different style of ghost face. Now, if you don't know what ghost face to do, just look online for different ideas. They're really easy to cut out. You could use a pencil to trace this, but I felt like just cutting it out with scissors was the easiest way to do this because don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you have both of your ghost face cut out, you can peel them off and stick them directly to your glass jar.
Now I wanted to reuse these jars so I didn't wanna put anything in here or paint them. So I'm gonna be using polyfill and I'll just take a little bit of that and put it into my jar. Now as you're putting it into the jar, make sure that you're kind of stuffing it down to each of the edges. Fill your jar completely and then put the lid on. How adorable are these jars sitting in my pantry? I have an easy hack you can do with these wall bats. You can add any of these to the inside of a lampshade. So I'm just gonna take them out, use the sticky provided, and put them around the inside of this lampshade. I've been using these Garland mini lights in this orange color all over my house. They're great for indoor or outdoor. I had this hack idea for this little cute metal piece that I found on walmart.com. Normally you're supposed to put, I think like a tea light in here or a candle. I'm gonna try putting the lights in here and seeing if I can get it to light up. This next candy hack just takes a few minutes to do and it only takes two ingredients. You're gonna need some pretzel sticks and some Reese's miniatures. The thing that's gonna take you the longest is removing all the miniatures from the packaging and just place them upside down on a plate. Just place one pretzel in the top of the miniature. These could not be easier to make and kids love them. had a fun idea for this next hack. Now I love using diffusers this time of year, especially in the fall. They're just great to have sitting out. They smell so good in your house, but I thought for Halloween, what if we took our diffuser and put it in a cauldron? That's what we're gonna try to do. I thought the steam coming out would look really spooky and fun. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try it. I'm gonna use my drill to drill a hole at the bottom of the cauldron so that I can feed the cord through it. So I'm just gonna have to use a bigger drill bit. Next, I'm just gonna feed the USB cord through here and then we can set up our diffuser. I'm gonna add in the essential oils that it comes with. And then I'll just connect it inside here. For this next DIY, pull all of your mason jars out. I'm gonna be using one larger one and two smaller ones. You're also going to need yarn. Get yarn in whatever color you want. I have an orange one and a black one. Start by hot gluing your yarn onto the back of your jar. Then you're gonna simply just twist it around. We're creating the look of a web here. So twist it all the way up until you're happy with the way it looks. I think it's great if you can kind of cross it over as well. Once you're happy with it, cut it off and hot glue it in place. Repeat these steps for your other three jars. You can put real candles in here or some tea lights. Pick up some of these spiders on walmart.com and you can put one or two on each of your jars and the best way to add them is just to hot glue them in place. But how adorable are these jars?
I wanted to show you guys a unique, inexpensive way that you could package up candy for your kids' class or maybe just handing out for trick-or-treating. I know every year my kids will put a bunch of candy into a bag and we try to do something cute. All you're gonna need for this is some candy and some orange tissue paper. Next, you're just going to take your tissue paper, cut off a piece and fold it in half. Then you're going to cut out a shape. I'm cutting a pumpkin. So I'm gonna start at the bottom where it's folded. I'm gonna trim around it with my scissors, cutting out a pumpkin shape. Now, if you wanna draw this out before you cut it, you can totally do that. I just kind of went in with my scissors. Next, fold it so you're only writing on one side and use a Sharpie to kind of draw the outline of your pumpkin. Then on the side you didn't draw on, put your candy inside and then add a little bit of glue around the edges. Press it down along the edges. And you have a cute little package for your pumpkin. I'll show you how I made another pumpkin that's slightly different. To open the candy, all you have to do is just tear it in half and then pull out your candy. Let me know down in the comments which of these DIYs or hacks was your favorite. And you can find any of the products I used in today's video online at walmart.com. Make sure you subscribe because I want to see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.